Hey everyone, so I've given this explanation tons of times, but I'd never actually videoed it, I don't think, uh, where I had it at for any long, any period of time. So generally when you're solving inequalities, if you get down to, say, that's a terrible color. I'll say that's a terrible color, by the way. Oh no. Yeah, that's better. Fix that. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so say you get to a point where your negative 3x is greater than 6 or less than 6, I'm sorry. And the little n's next to the x, that means less. So this is a last step scenario. So I'm going to divide by a negative 3 here. You've probably heard a quarter of a trillion times that you're supposed to flip the inequality over. So it becomes x is greater than. And then it's negative 2 there, of course. But you may wonder, like, well, what for? Why, why would you bother with that? The idea is that negative and positive just deal with direction essentially it has nothing to do with like it's a counterbalance let's say direction is the easiest way to explain explain the counterbalance but so if i'm going this way i may call this negative and then if i'm going this way i may call it positive it may be the same with if i have a wave it's a bit like the sine curve um this part if it's equal to this will sort of balance it out so it's about counterbalancing something. It's just the opposite force in a way. Well, greater than, less than is just a value judgment. So if I were facing, so wherever you're sitting, classroom or in your room or whatever, face one of the walls. This is the way that I'm facing towards my screen. So this is up for me. I don't know. So I will say that I am facing a positive direction. And find some something that you can use as a reference point. I'm going to use um, my uh, the wall next to me as being uh, I would say that I am currently so x is greater than the wall and it's greater than only because the wall is on my left well if all of a sudden I change this to negative changing the entire character of x now you have to remember that when I'm doing this I'm dividing but not only am I taking the 3 away from the x, I'm also taking the negative away. So I'm basically changing the direction that x is facing when I do this. Um, so it's going the opposite of what it was before. Whereas if you add or subtract, you're just moving the entire term. So x stays facing the same direction, just moves to the other side of the equation. So that's, or inequality in this case. So say I'm negative and all of a sudden I'm facing this direction. So wherever you are, if you've actually thought about the idea of, okay, um, it's over here now, or, uh, okay, I'm facing this way and that's my positive direction, you know, turn the 180 degrees around the other direction, and all of a sudden, the wall that was on your left, so you were greater than the wall, is now on your right, which means that you, or you could say that the wall is now greater than you are because it's on the right side, and you, for some reason, see right as the, the greater of two things. So, all of a sudden, x is less than, or you are less than the wall, whereas before you were greater than the wall. So as you can see, the idea of flipping the inequality over when you multiply or divide really has to do with a value judgment about what greater versus less means. And also, it speaks to positive and negative being counterbalancing forces, or specifically in this example, direction. So it's not really that weird that you would flip the inequality, but if you know why you do it, it makes more sense about how you would use it in the future. So this is just a really cheap example of why you flip that inequality over when you divide by a negative uh, in any inequality.